Hi, this is Kara. Welcome to Bright Hope Creations. Today, we are turning our cake slice into a cheese wedge. I cut the cake slice box and lid from sunflower cardstock. For the holes in the cheese, I'm using two round balloons from Party Balloons die set in number two pencil cardstock, the window backer from the Mushroom House, and the top part of the sun from the center picture window card die set. The banner poles from scallop card box pop up out of sugar plum cardstock, a banner from fancy wavy banners in white, and coordinating die speech bubble from Say What Pets, and the medium sized die from the speech bubble die set. The heart cake topper from the cake box die set, and two coordinating dies from the stamp sets I'll be using. So the stamp sets are Wild For You, this little mouse, and Elfie Selfie. I'll use that mouse and that word cheese and a few little other sentiments. And Happy Birthday from the Wavy Sayings. To begin, I'll stamp the two little mice using the Misty. Get those in there. And then I'm going to use Jet Black ink because I'm going to color these two mice in Copic markers. So I'll stamp them down. And then onto the wavy banner, I'm going to put in the happy birthday. And I'm going to stamp this still using the jet black ink. It works really well for sentiments. It's a nice dark ink. So there's that one. And now we're on to the speech bubble. And I'm going to use some selective stamping here. So this is the word big. It's from a sentiment from Elfie Selfie, and I use a post-it note with a full sticky back to mask off the words I don't want to ink up. So I ink it up, pull off the mask, and stamp. And now I want the word to, so I'm using the sentiment it's been too long, and that's from wild for you. You can use words from other stamp sets or alphabet stamp sets. This is just uh, what I had right there, so that's what I used. So I mask that up and ink it up, and then remove those masks and stamp. And now we have two. And I stamped it twice. Now you can see I have the word it, <laughs> but it hit the misty and not my speech bubble, so that's okay. Now this is uh, the words the, well, it's the word the from You Take the Best Selfies from Elfie Selfie. And I stamped that one up and we're set and we're ready for cheese. So to the big cheese. And this cheese comes from the uh, Elfie Selfie set as well. All right, clean that up and we're all set with the sentiments, so it's time to start coloring. And I'm using Copic markers with the C0. I'm finding my shadows and then I'll come back in with my darkest color. This is the C3 and put in those shadows and then blend it out with the C2. And I will then come back and blend that further into the body with the C1. And I'll continue blending that into the body with the C0. And that's as light as I go for this guy. I'm going to give him a little R00 in the ear and on the cheek. And then I'll come back in with the C3. And this is to darken up those areas that got blended away. And kind of blend those back out into the body with the C1. I did the same coloring for this mouse, so I'm just going to show you where I come back in at the end with the C3 to darken up the shadows, just so you can see where I put those shadows on this little guy. So we're all ready to cut them out, so I have the coordinating dies, and I'll run those through my die cutter, and we can start with a the box. There's our two cute little guys. And now I don't want the scallops on this box top, so I slice those off. 
And now we can assemble the top and I just ease the score lines and just fold those all along the different score lines and then take a bone folder to really crease those well. Next, I add eighth and quarter inch double-sided tape to all the little tabs. And this is Lawn Fawn's double-sided tape. And I know Kelly Alvarez refers to it as terrible tape. And it's so true, this stuff tears away easier than anything else I've used. So I pull those tabs off and I curve the back of the wedge with my fingers a few times. And then I adhere all the little tabs. Now, I'm from Wisconsin, and we're known as America's Dairyland. Poor cows, it gets so cold here in the winter. But anyway, Illinois lovingly refers to us as cheeseheads. Well, I've lived half my life around here and half of it around Chicago, so I really don't take offense. All right, well, we've got the top set, and I'm gonna start on the bottom part of the box, just folding all those different score lines and then reinforcing that with a bone folder and take my double-sided tape and just gonna get the quarter inch size for the larger tabs and I used that eighth inch side for the or size for the the narrower tabs so peel all that away and again I'm gonna use my finger just to curve that back and adhere the tabs. So it's a real easy box to put together. I'll just get that flap up there and I have one in the front and I'll adhere that and the box is all set. So now we have the base and the top and it's time to decorate our cheese. So I'll start by snipping the necks off of these balloons. Now there's a scallop circle that comes with the cake box to hold up the topper, but I'm going to use a circle instead, and it will be one of the holes in the cheese. So I need to just cut a little slit here, and then I can put my cake topper in through that slit, and I separate the bottom on each side and I'm going to just slip snip off these little scallops so it doesn't show on the front side of the circle and then I will glue that down and one on each side I'm just making sure that it works well and it does and then a little glue and put down that tab and a little glue and put down the opposite tab. And it's set. So I used this heart as a base to put down this mouse, but he's not sitting flat. So I'm gonna curl up his front paws there a little bit and then I'll glue him on. There we go. And this heart is big enough that I can also then glue that speech bubble on the heart as well. So I'm going to put a little glue on the heart and then tuck that speech bubble next to him so that it looks like he's saying the words. And then I'm going to snip away the excess of that heart behind him. So all you will see is the mouse and the speech bubble. We're just getting all those little bits cut away that side and then also on this side and then the back is going to look a little funny because you'll see parts of the heart there and the way you get around that is just to cut another speech bubble and glue that on and make sure that's all even and then uh, cut another little mouse but he needs to be flat, so I don't worry, just trimmed his nails a little in the back. And he sits nice now, and it's a nice thick topper for the cheese, so it stands very sturdy. Oh, now I'm just ready to glue that down. 
there we go. And I can start on the happy birthday banner. And this is going to stand up on the cheese. And I'm curving it for two reasons. One, it just kind of looks nice uh, to reflect the curve on the cheese wedge. But also, this way, I can put those two poles on each side of the cheese, and it will fit well. So I have that glued on, and I'll just put a line of glue on each side of the box top. I want it on the box top so that you can still open and close the box. I'll wrap that around and just keep my fingers on the poles so that they glue and there it is. So now it's time to put some more holes onto the cheese wedge and I'm scoring some of them and I'll cut some of them so that they can fold around or be partially on the on the cheese. So here's that one scored and cut and I'll add a little glue and I'll put that on one of the corners. You'd be surprised where you find circles in your dies sets. I didn't think I had any circles for this, but I looked around and I found them in various places like the sunshine and the back of a window and, and balloons. So it worked really well. Now, I've never seen holes in cheddar cheese. I only see it in Swiss, except cartoon cheese. I don't know, but that's what we usually see when we look at a, a drawing of cheese or something made to look like cheese. Case in point, the cheese head hat. Yes, it's a thing. You can Google it. <laughs> But, okay, yes, I am from Wisconsin. This is, this is what we do. If you ever see the Green Bay Packers play, you will see many cheese hats in the stadium. All right, so let's keep on with our, with our little holes. And I love this number two pencil color with the sunflower. I just think that it gives a great look of holes. And it's a real fun cardstock color. So when I was putting these together, it felt like I was decorating a cake, you know, a rolled fondant. So if you've ever made one of those, it, it, it's kind of fun because this cardstock is nice and thick and it just lays so well around the corners and on the sides. So here's my last hole that I'm placing on there. And then it's time for this little mouse. And he's going to sit on the side, kind of popping out of one of the holes. And he's got the word cheese. I die cut this cheese, well, the speech bubble, a little shorter so that it fit well with the word. And I'm gluing it just on the top of the box so that it can still open and there we are, all set. Happy birthday to the big cheese. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it sparks some creative ideas of ways to use the cake slice box. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.